Today we are going to travel to the ancient world, but not the one you are thinking of, full of swords, old ruins, and dust. Today we are going to explore a place where reality is more incredible than fantasy. The possibility that ancient civilizations had technologies that we cannot even imagine. Prepare to question everything you thought you knew, because we are going to delve into cold fusion, into tunnels that defy the logic of time, into lenses that could have observed the cosmos thousands of years before Galileo, into a cement stronger than steel. Modern, and in a material that seems taken from a science fiction book, flexible glass. If you are ready to go beyond the limits of history, let's get started. Number 1. Cold Fusion of Hindu Temples Our first stop takes us to India, a place full of spirituality and mystery. Imagine enormous stone temples decorated with carvings so complex that they seem impossible, built with blocks of stone so large that they would make any modern crane look tiny. The question is, how did they do it? Legends speak of an ancient technique, a secret passed from generation to generation, which allowed the ancients to mold stone as if it were plasticine. What if I told you that there is a theory, a possibility that these artisans of the past mastered a technology that still eludes us today, cold fusion? Imagine the ability to join atoms at room temperature, without the enormous energy required by nuclear fusion. Such technology could explain how they moved, carved, and joined those gigantic blocks with millimeter precision. Some suggest that in the composition of the stones there are minerals that could act as accelerators in a cold fusion process. Others speak of the acoustics of these temples, of sound vibrations capable of modifying the structure of matter. It's true that we still don't have definitive proof, but the mere possibility that cold fusion was real in the past opens up a world of fascinating questions. What if the story we have been told is not entirely true? What if the answers to humanity's greatest mysteries were already discovered thousands of years ago? Number 2. From India we now travel to the heart of Europe, to an underground labyrinth that extends like a network underground, thousands of tunnels, some of them more than 12,000 years old, excavated in the rock with a precision that defies logic. The Stone Age, these tunnels, too narrow to be used as normal corridors, stretched for kilometers, connecting entire villages. But for what purpose? Some archaeologists suggest that they were used as shelter from wild animals or as protection from bad weather. But there are other, more daring theories that point to a much more complex purpose. Some researchers believe that these tunnels were part of an underground communication network, a system for transmitting information or even energy over long distances. Others go even further, speculating on the possibility that these tunnels were used for shamanic rituals, to connect with the world of the dead, or even as escape routes in case of major natural disasters. Imagine the magnitude of the work, the coordination and the effort necessary to build such an extensive network of tunnels at a time when technology was limited to stone and bone tools. The question is, do we underestimate the capacity of our ancestors or was there something else, something that escapes us today? Number 3. Our next stop takes us to the arid lands of Mesopotamia, cradle of ancient civilizations. There, among the ruins, objects were found that challenge our understanding of history, the lenses of Nimrud. These are pieces of quartz crystal carved with astonishing precision, some of them shaped like convex lenses, capable of increasing light. Analysis indicates that these lenses could be more than 2,700 years old, which would make them the oldest lenses ever found. The question is obvious. What did the ancient Assyrians use these lenses for? The most accepted theory is that they were used as magnifying glasses to carve with greater precision or to light a fire by concentrating light. Imagine the possibility that the Assyrians, centuries before Galileo, were already observing the cosmos, studying the stars and planets through these primitive telescopes. In fact, 
Some ancient texts of the time mention observing the heavens and recording astronomical events. Lenses may be the key to unraveling the mysteries of the ancient universe. Number 4. From the stars, we now descend to dry land, to a time when the Roman Empire dominated much of the known world. The Romans, famous for their engineering and their ability to build colossal structures, used a material that still defies modern science today. Roman cement. While our modern concrete buildings only last a few decades, Roman structures built with this material have withstood the passage of centuries, even millennia, defying erosion, earthquakes, and the relentless passage of time. What is the secret of the durability of Roman cement? Scientists have discovered that the key lies in its chemical composition, in the mixture of volcanic ash, lime, and seawater. This unique combination creates a crystalline structure that becomes stronger over time rather than degrading as modern cement does. Imagine the possibility of replicating this formula, of building infrastructures that last thousands of years, resisting the passage of time and the elements. The Roman cement recipe, a legacy of ancient Rome, could be the key to more sustainable and long-lasting construction in the future. Number 5. I present to you an enigma as fascinating as it is controversial. The flexible blasts of ancient Rome. The story goes that a Roman craftsman appeared before Emperor Tiberius with an unbreakable glass, made of a material that could bend without breaking. The emperor, fearing that this invention would devalue gold and silver, ordered the artisan to be executed and his workshop destroyed to prevent the secret of flexible glass from spreading. Myth or reality? The truth is that there is no definitive proof of the existence of this material. Some historians believe that it is a legend, a fantastic story passed down from generation to generation. Others, however, cling to the possibility that flexible glass was real in ancient Rome. They point to the existence of extremely sophisticated glass blowing techniques at the time capable of creating pieces of extraordinary fineness and resistance. Is it possible that at some point the Romans discovered a process to give glass an unprecedented flexibility? The answer, as is often the case with mysteries of the past, is lost in the fog of time. But the mere possibility that flexible glass existed invites us to question the limits of ancient technology in a world where reality surpasses fiction. Were these civilizations really capable of mastering technologies that still seem impossible to us today, or are they simply legends, erroneous interpretations of history? The truth, as always, lies somewhere between reality and imagination. The important thing is to keep an open mind, question what is established and continue exploring the limits of the unknown. Number 6. From the Majestic Mountains of Peru we arrive at the enigmatic city of Machu Picchu, a place that has captured the imagination of millions of people around the world. Imagine this, an American explorer, with his adventurous spirit and passion for history, ventures into the dense Peruvian jungle in the hope of discovering something extraordinary. Suddenly, among the mist and the plants, a stone city is found built on the top of a mountain. Incredible, this discovery not only surprised Bingham, but also changed the history of archaeology forever. Machu Picchu is like a giant puzzle, with its stone walls perfectly fitted together without the use of cement. Each stone was carved with astonishing precision, fitting perfectly with the others, demonstrating the incredible skill of the Incas in construction. It's a mystery. Archaeologists and experts still debate the exact techniques the Incas used to achieve such perfection. What we do know is that the Incas were construction geniuses, they used simple but effective tools and had a deep knowledge of geology and engineering. The city is full of temples, palaces, houses and terraces to cultivate, each with a specific purpose and function within the community, all perfectly integrated into the landscape. The Incas had a deep respect for nature and built their cities in a way that harmonized with the natural environment. 
It's as if nature and architecture have made a deal to create a magical place. This symbiosis between man and nature is one of the reasons why Machu Picchu is so special. But here comes the most mysterious thing. No one knows for sure what Machu Picchu was used for. Over the years, many theories have been proposed, but none have been confirmed. Was it a place for ceremonies? Some believe that Machu Picchu was a sacred site where religious rituals and important ceremonies took place. A refuge for the important people of the Inca Empire? Others think it was a retreat for the Inca elite, a place where nobles could escape the hustle and bustle of everyday life. A place to watch the stars? It is also suggested that Machu Picchu could have been an astronomical observatory where the Incas studied the movements of the stars. Who knows, but that's what makes it even more fascinating. The lack of definitive answers only adds to the mystery and attraction of this incredible place. Did you know that Machu Picchu was almost flooded to build a dam? At one point, there were plans to build a dam that would have submerged the city underwater. Thank goodness they didn't. Thanks to the efforts of conservationists and the international community, Machu Picchu was preserved for future generations. Otherwise, we would have missed one of the wonders of the world. Today, Machu Picchu is recognized as one of the new seven wonders of the world and attracts millions of visitors each year. Visiting Machu Picchu is like traveling back in time, going back to an era when the Incas dominated the Andes and created architectural wonders that defy modern logic. Feel the energy of a lost civilization and admire its ingenuity. Every corner of Machu Picchu tells a story, every stone has a secret waiting to be discovered. It is an experience that leaves you speechless, the magnitude and beauty of the place is simply overwhelming. And speaking of incredible things, do you know what the craziest theory I've heard about Machu Picchu is? There are those who believe that the city has an even more mysterious origin, that it was built by aliens. This theory suggests that the Incas received help from beings from another world to build their city. But hey, that's another story. What is indisputable is that Machu Picchu remains one of the most fascinating and mysterious places on the planet, a testament to human ingenuity and a reminder of the wonders that remain to be discovered. Number 7. Now we are going to Cambodia, to the ancient city of Angkor, a place full of history and mystery. An architectural wonder awaits us there that has stood the test of time. Imagine an entire city built around a huge group of temples, a center of power and spirituality that attracted thousands of people. Well, that was Angkor, the capital of the Khmer Empire, which controlled Southeast Asia for centuries, spreading its influence and culture throughout the region. Angkor what is the most precious jewel, a temple dedicated to Vishnu, one of the most important gods of Hinduism and a symbol of the greatness of the Khmer Empire. Its architecture is simply spectacular, with its towers in the shape of a lotus flower, its reliefs show scenes from Hindu mythology and its patios and corridors, like labyrinths, invite us to get lost in its history. It is said that Angkor what was built in just 37 years, truly crazy if we think about its size and complexity. Each stone was placed with precision and dedication, it took thousands of workers and artisans to build this wonder, each contributing their skill and effort to create something that would last for centuries. But Angkor is not just Angkor what, it is a vast complex full of history and culture. The ancient city is full of incredible temples and monuments, such as the Bayon, with its smiling faces carved in stone that seem to observe us from the past, or Ta Prong, a temple covered by the jungle that seems straight out of an adventure movie, where the nature and architecture are intertwined in a magical way. Sadly, the Khmer Empire fell in the 15th century and Angkor was abandoned, slowly being covered by jungle, which reclaimed what was once its own. It was not until the 19th century that European explorers rediscovered this lost city, 
which became a symbol of Cambodia's glorious past, arousing the interest of the entire world. Today, Angkor is one of the most important archaeological sites in the world, a place where history and nature come together to offer us a unique spectacle. Thousands of tourists visit it every year, marveled by the grandeur and mystery of this place. Walking through its temples and ruins, one can't help but feel a connection to the past, a sense of awe and respect for the civilization that once flourished here. Its history remains a testament to human ingenuity and the ability to create lasting beauty, undoubtedly the jewel of the Khmer Empire. Number 8. Dwarka, the Lost City of Krishna To finish our trip, we immersed ourselves in the waters of the Arabian Sea, near India, in search of the legendary city of Dwarka. This place has been an object of fascination and mystery for centuries. According to Hindu mythology, Dvarka was the city of the god Krishna, a place of luxury and wealth that disappeared beneath the waves thousands of years ago. It is said that the city was built with precious materials and that its streets were full of life and activity. For centuries, Dvarka was considered just a legend, a story for children. The story spoke of a city so advanced and prosperous that it seemed impossible that it had really existed. But in the 1980s, a group of marine archaeologists made an astonishing discovery, they found the remains of a submerged city 40 meters deep. This discovery changed the perception of many about the veracity of ancient legends. The stone structures, paved streets and objects found at the bottom of the sea indicated that it was a very important port city. Archaeologists found walls, pillars and even what appeared to be ancient docks. And the most surprising thing, the age of the remains, measured with carbon-14, coincided with the time in which Dwarka is believed to have existed. Chance? That may be, but the accuracy of the dates has led many to reconsider the story. Or maybe the legend of Dwarka is more real than we think. The possibility that such a magnificent city could have actually existed is fascinating. Research continues and each new discovery brings us a little closer to the truth. Archaeologists continue to explore the area, using advanced technology to map and study the submerged remains. Imagine the scene, diving among the ruins of an ancient city, touching the stones that once formed part of Krishna's palaces. It is an experience that few have had the opportunity to live, it's like entering a magical world a place where reality surpasses fiction. The crystal clear waters reveal an underwater landscape full of history and mystery. Dvarka is a reminder that the past is full of secrets to discover, that history is not always written in books, but sometimes it hides beneath the waves, waiting patiently to be revealed. Each stone, each structure, tells us a story from a forgotten time waiting to be heard by those who dare to search. And here is our journey through the rediscovered lost cities. I hope you enjoyed it as much as me. Remember that this is just a small sample of the number of incredible places that our planet hides. History is full of mysteries to solve and treasures to discover. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Until the next adventure.